Today we are going to discuss the use of a drop trap. A drop trap is a type of trap that is typically used to selectively trap a single cat out of a colony, or to trap a cat that is trap shy, meaning that it will not go into a traditional box trap. There are a variety of drop trap designs available, most of which are homemade. Today we will be using a commercially made Tomahawk DT1 drop trap. This trap is available directly from the Tomahawk Company website. If you live near Laurel, Maryland, this trap is available to borrow from Laurel Cats. In addition to the drop trap, you will need the following. A large sheet or blanket, large enough to cover the drop trap in its entirety. A trap or transfer cage with a guillotine style sliding door and a cover. A large unbreakable bowl. Lots of cat food. A non-stretchy string. An old yard sign. Plenty of light. Optionally, a clip light with an extension cord and an inverter to plug into your car can be very useful in many cases. A large flat area to trap. A bucket of sand, heavy flower pot, or other weight. Optionally, a chain and padlock. Optionally, binoculars. Optionally, a small squirt bottle. Optionally, a large tray that is somewhat smaller than the trap itself, but has a lip that is three to four inches tall. Optionally, a good book to read. You could be there for hours. When you receive the trap, it will be folded for transport with a handle at the top. Undo the two top latches and the sides will fold open. Remove the centerpiece. This piece comprises the walls of the trap, while this piece is actually the roof of the trap. This piece is the door. Open the walls up to create a square. Now place the roof on top, being careful not to cover the side rails for the door. Now use the spring latches on each side to secure the roof. Be sure the latches are tight enough that a strong tomcat could not push the roof up high enough to slip out between the wall and the roof. You may need to attach the spring on a higher rung if the spring does not have enough tension. Now place the drop trap over top of the food bowl. The site where you place the trap must be completely flat with enough space to not only place the drop trap but also the transfer cage. For best success, we recommend leaving the drop trap in place for several days prior to trapping to acclimate the cats to eating under the trap. You may need to chain the trap to a tree or a structure to keep it from walking off if the site is visible to the public. Leave the door off during the acclimation process and put a flower pot or other object under the trap to ensure it does not fall if bumped. When you are ready to trap, remove the flower pot and chain, place a weight on the back flap, and replace the door. Place the yard sign under the stand and attach the string. A large amount of food should be placed in the bowl in the very back and center of the trap. You will want enough food that several unwanted cats can finish dinner before your target cat shows up. You will now need to hide in the house, your car, or some place that you have a good view of the cats. Remove all slack in the line and be sure there is nothing it could catch on when you pull the trap. Wait until the cat is not only in the trap, but sitting down and not looking at you. If the cat is standing, or looking at you, it will be fast enough to run away before the trap falls. Once the cat is in the trap, sitting down and not looking at you, pull the string with a hard fast tug. Quickly spread the blanket across the entire trap, being sure it reaches to the ground. A foot on top of the trap during the process is not a bad idea. Position the transfer cage on the side of the trap with the door. The guillotine door of the transfer cage should be mated to the guillotine door of the drop trap. Place the cover over the transfer cage in such a way as to cover the large sides and the top of the transfer cage, but not the front or the back. Light should be visible through the front and the back of the transfer cage. 
Secure the transfer cage into position with the additional spring clips located on either side of the drop trap door. Now raise both guillotine doors simultaneously. Tap the top of the trap a couple of times if need be. The cat will see the light at the end of the transfer cage and will race into the transfer cage. Slide the door shut, disconnect the cage, and latch the door of the transfer cage. If the cat refuses to move into the transfer cage, it can be helpful to have a second person who can lift up the cover on the main drop trap and spook the cat into the transfer cage, or squirt the cat with water from a small squirt bottle. One other note, if you are using a drop trap to trap an entire litter of kittens, you can use a tray to gather the kittens centrally before pulling the trap. This will reduce the chances of the trap falling on one of the kittens. To fold up the drop trap, take the door and roof off. Fold the side so that the door rails are on the outside. Place in the center of the roof. Insert the door so the handle faces inward. Now fold and latch the side of the trap, being sure the handle is still protruding. We hope that this video has been educational and will assist you in performing trap, neuter, vaccinate return in your community. By working together to sterilize and vaccinate 100% of the outdoor cat population, we can create a better future for cats. This video is produced by Laurel Cats Incorporated for educational purposes only. No copyright infringement of any sort was intended by its production. Laurel Cats is an all-volunteer, non-profit, 501c3 program serving residents of Laurel, Maryland. We can be found on the web at www.laurelcats.org.